Hey everybody, here I am with a video for the top five things that every nine, Windows 9X and Windows ME install must have. So, unfortunately, this is number one on the list. I'm going to go ahead and show you number one, which is copying all the CAV files over to the actual hard drive. So, let's say you already created the partition, you're getting ready, we're going to go ahead and boot with CD-ROM. And some people mostly choose the option to start Windows Setup from CD-ROM, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do Start Setup with CD-ROM Support. So we're going to go ahead and do the change over to the D drive and um, we're going to do CD Win 9X because with Windows ME. So what I'm going to do is C format C colon. And we're going to do the your usual format, but you could usually do that if you was going through the Windows setup method. But the reason why we're doing the DOS way because so we can copy the installation file. So I'm going to change over to the C drive. We're going to do MD. Windows. We're going to do MD options. MD cabs so what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead we're going to change over to the D drive and since it's already cut we're going to copy star dot star C windows slash options slash cabs So we're going to go ahead and change over to the We're going to go ahead and go back to the C drive, CD, Windows, CD Options, CD Cat. Then we're going to do a DIR, so verified everything's copied over to the hard drive. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin the setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click next because we're going to go to number. This is another important thing. So we're going to go ahead and change the um, from C Windows dot zero zero. We're going to go ahead and make it C dot Windows. And number two is you can even get to the select component, the little custom install, but. You can either do custom or typical, so we're going to go ahead and select the typical. We're going to do where I say display a list of components so we can choose the ones we can install. So, unfortunately, that's what we want to do because for components, we're going to make sure to have everything in accessories. We're going to go click details and Make sure we have all the screen savers and all the mouse pointers and wallpapers and all the typical programs that Windows comes default with. But you can you can remove accessibility if you want. And we're gonna go ahead and enable desktop themes. But if you have Windows 95, you're going you're going to need to install Microsoft Plus for Windows 95. But 
if you have Windows 98, you're going to want to, um, if you want to, like the themes that support gradient title bars and the comic based themes, you're going to need plus 98. But these are all the default themes that originally came from Windows 98 that are in Windows ME, but we're going to enable multi language support depending on what location or region you're in. And for multimedia, we're going to enable multimedia sound schemes and sample sounds. And under system tools, we're going to enable compressed folders and character map and other stuff, other useful system tools like system monitor and system resource meter. And this compression tools if you want to do drive compression. So without further ado, let me go ahead and continue on with this installation and I'll be right back with number three. All right, so uh, got Windows ME already installed, and as you see, this is going to be number three on the list. We're going to go ahead and install some drivers. Nine times out of ten, you will, you you will, or you have to install drivers, especially if you're doing this in a virtual machine, like this video, of course, because as you see, there's no it's in 16 colors so sometimes in VMware you have to install the sound drivers so somehow the sound drivers already in, installed on or somehow it must have on built-in support but otherwise we're gonna go and install VMware tools But if you're using like VirtualBox, there's like a VESA driver that you could, sometimes Virtual PC, you could use um, Virtual PC 2004 editions if you're using like Windows 95. If you're doing it with Virtual PC 2007, even though you can use the Virtual PC 2007 editions on Windows 98 and ME. So we're just going to do a typical install. I'm gonna go ahead and restart so you can so you guys can see the full improvement. As you see, as it turned to a bluish color. And to get the better experience of your video drivers we're going to go ahead and enable some visual effects we're going to enable smooth edges of screen fonts and show icon show window contents while dragging this will make it a lot easier on your video card to get that full experience and another thing too is sometimes show icon using all you icons using all possible colors is already enabled by default but if it's like some like some of the Windows and T5 beta builds and Windows and T4 and Windows 95 will usually have this disabled by default if you're using the plus 95 pack which something gonna look like this but if you want your icons to look a lot better I'd recommend leaving show icons using all possible colors enabled so you want to make sure your video drivers are set to true color 32 bits so and I'll be right back with number four. All right, so here's number four. We're gonna be installing some useful stuff. So let's get to the point. There's two useful things in number four we're gonna be doing is we're gonna install Tweak UI. So we can basically have Power Toys in Windows 9X or Windows ME. So let me go ahead and switch that to all. And this will allow you to have more customization more customization to Windows ME or Windows 95 or 98 in the, or whatever particular 9x operating system you're using. So with that being said, let's go ahead and install DirectX. 
nine. Well, this is the highest version that Windows ME can support. But if you if you're using like 95 or Windows 98 first edition, I'd recommend installing the highest version that those two operate two versions of 9x can install. But 9 when DirectX 9xc can also be supported on Windows 98 SE and Windows ME, so you want to keep that in mind. So once that, while that's installing, I'm gonna go ahead and um, jump to number five. All right, so here we are with number five. Since I rebooted the virtual machine, so this is another important thing if you're going to use like certain programs in Windows 9X and Windows ME, is that you want to install the highest version of Internet Explorer because a lot of programs will require you to install the highest version of Internet Explorer, even though it's not like you're going to be using Internet Explorer, but a lot of programs require it anyway, so why not just install it? So what I'm going to be doing in, if you're using Windows 98, 98 second edition, or Windows ME, the highest version of Internet Explorer that can be supported is Internet Explorer 6 with Service Pack 1. But if you're using Windows 95, the highest version of Internet Explorer you can use is Internet Explorer 5.5 with Service Pack 2. And with that being said, better restart one more time and because we're about to go ahead and go into conclusion now. Once we get back into the desktop, so unfortunately, since we got it all installed, so some stuff installed. There's two optional things you can do if you're using 95 or 98. You can install plus 98, especially if you want the additional themes to go with the built-in themes. Or if you want to use like third-party themes that support gradient title bars and installing Microsoft Office. But without, with that being said, I'm, my next video we're going to be working on getting Windows 95 on the modern internet. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.